peeps, welcome to Gav Gaming TV. Welcome to Airport Sim Demo. So, as some of you know, uh, Steam has had a uh, event where a lot of demos have come out of up and coming games. And I have a few of them, I just haven't got around to doing some. This one, I have a wee blast on, and it's pretty cool. So what we're going to do in this one is a tutorial. We're going to do the demo. A, to remind me of what I'm doing. B, so you all get a, a clue of what's going on. I'll give you an idea. Welcome to the airport sim demo. You are now surrounded by the beautiful hills and cliffs of the Faroe Islands. Seems to be a bit choppy until it uh, at the only airport in the caches region, itself. Vagar. In this scenario, I'd like to demonstrate a series of mechanics that we've recreated that are part of an aircraft's turnaround phase. These include securing an aircraft after arrival with chocks and cones, providing power to an aircraft through a mobile ground power unit, connecting the passenger stairs, and unloading luggage from the cargo hold. As you can see, the aircraft has just arrived at the gate, so allow me to talk you through the basics of movement and interactions. You can use the on-screen controls to look and walk. That's pretty cool. Now, walk up to the wheel chocks and pick them up by pointing your view in their direction and then pressing the button displayed on screen. You take your headset on and off, it's still really loud on. That's still ridiculously loud. I like how it's just a volume. To secure the aircraft from rolling away in the event of hydraulic brake failure, approach each set of wheels and place a set of chocks underneath. around the aircraft in the indicated placement areas. You can pick a cone up just like you did the chocks. To manipulate the cone's position and rotation, use the controls displayed on screen. Well, this bit I don't like because I can't stack cones on me, so this is going to do it one by one. That is so annoying. So you have to run back and forward, back and forward, one by one. Now realistically, it's stacked them on top of each other and tack them, but... It looks impressive, I mean the aircraft are pretty well detailed. Oops, I'm not told the cones are what. It's not letting me move around. Oops. Secured and ready to be connected to the ground power unit, also known as the GPU. After That's landing, an aircraft continues to generate power from its engines, that is, until they are turned off, and power is switched to another engine, located at the very rear of the aircraft known as the Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU. 
In this instance, the APU has already been powered on, shortly after landing before the pilots arrive at the gate. Your next task is to prepare the GPU for operation, so the pilots can power down the APU to stop burning fuel. From both perspectives, this the aircraft parked at the gate has... Head over to the tug parked in the garage, attack... Before you leave the garage and drive off to the aircraft, you'll need to connect the GPU to the tug. Be tumbled, I think you need Position the rear of your tug with the front of the GPU and reverse backwards until the rear of the tug is almost touching the tow hook of the GPU. The driving controls are displayed on screen. Yeah, there's been more. Oh, the GPU's already. Oh. It's well detailed, isn't it? Like... Exit the tug and walk over to the tow hook of the GPU and follow the action displayed on screen. Perfect. Remember that attaching other trailers to the tug follows the exact same process. Now, follow the road in front of you to the right and then approach the indicated area near the aircraft. Once you're in position, exit the tug and detach the GPU from it. Then, head to the rear side of the GPU and open the highlighted panel flap at the top, revealing the control panel. Mm -hmm. Open that. Now, I'll teach you how to fire this unit up in sequence. To operate indicated buttons, use the controls displayed on screen. Select the highlighted power on button. This starts the generator battery. Now, hold down the highlighted engine start button for well, easy to see on this now. until it's on the starts up. Not much. We'll wait about so. 60 seconds until the engine warms up and the oil temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. So you don't get bored, head to the front side of the aircraft so, and open up the indicated connector flap. I see the bottom right now, look, you can take your headset off. You can hear everything, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm already open that one. Boom. No one up. be warmed up and ready for operation. Plug in the power cord by facing the connector area inside the flap you've just opened on the aircraft. Yep. Now head back to the GPU's control panel and switch the highlighted motor setting oh, dial to idle to run. Then push the DC output button to the on position. Great, the aircraft is now connected to the GPU. There's Happy nothing else you need to worry about here, as the pilot will change the power source at their discretion. Soon enough, you'll be able to hear the aircraft's APU powering down. You're now ready to continue with other services. We'll yeah. move on to connecting the passenger stairs. <laughs> there are a few ways to board an aircraft, and after all, you can't just climb up since the doors on this aircraft are about two and a half meters up on the ground. Drive this over there, I'll show you how to operate the mobile passenger stairs. As you can guess, it's a vehicle equipped with a retractable stair platform that can adjust to various aircraft with different door heights. This form of boarding an aircraft is generally used on remote stands when a jet bridge isn't present. The stairs vehicle is located in the garage. Approach and enter it. We're in. Okay. Start the engine and drive over to the aircraft we just connected the GPU with. There'll be a highlighted area on the left side of the aircraft. Stop oh, I take this so far out. The entry door. Let me give you some tips. Remember that the left. 
left side of the plane is always intended for passenger or staff entry and exit. So okay. regardless of the type of aircraft, you will always be attaching stairs to the left. And to add, you will like always refer to the left or right of the aircraft from the pilot's perspective to prevent confusion. Oh, okay. Let's go. Now, try to align the platform to the aircraft's door in such a way that doors are positioned slightly to the right from the middle. Come in slowly and try to raise the platform slightly so it matches the silver plate located just below the door. When you're lined up and around four meters away from the aircraft door, stop and change your camera to the interior view. You'll see two bulbs on the left of the dashboard to make identifying a successful alignment easier. One red and one green. If the green light illuminates, that means you've successfully aligned the stairs and are ready to connect them to the aircraft. Yes. Right. Now, move slowly and stop when the green bulb lights up. Oh, then when stationary, you will need to lower the supports, which will stabilize the stairs platform whilst passengers disembark the aircraft. We're still not done. Still, there are a couple of things we need to do. Exit the cab and make your way to the top of the stairs. Now, you must open the aircraft door and pull in the side barriers to secure passage. Bump. Perfect. Good work. Thank now you. the aircraft is ready for passengers to safely disembark using the stairs. Now, let me show you how to handle the precious luggage of passengers. Oh, man. Hop right. into the tug and drive it back to the garage. And change your vehicle back. for the highlighted luggage loader. Go ahead and park big, the right? loader in front of the front cargo hold. Hopefully I can get to it. Oh shit, pull that over. Well, what did they make me park that there for? Now, pop out of the vehicle to open the cargo doors. Ah, stupid. I'm going to squeeze it in there. No. You got a problem. You got to get it right outside, that's cool. Alright, let's see if I can move this thing back a bit. I'm a bit away to be honest, I don't know. I was that far away from it. Where's the ass under this thing? Oh, wow. Back with that cable will adjust itself again. Oh, we need that in a bit, you see. Right, let's back in here. Oh, done it, mate. You have to maneuver the end of the belt to the beginning of the cargo floor. Remember to take it slow. Walk back to the garage to enter the tug. 
the running the tug and then put one of these carts across. It's pretty detailed, isn't it, guys? I'm not. Uh, Attach a highlighted baggage trailer to the tug. I'm definitely, uh, d definitely into getting this. Great. Now drive over to the baggage loader. Park in the indicated area, ensuring that the side of the baggage trailer is facing the baggage tape. I actually, I actually was going to apply for a job doing this, you know. Be sure to leave some space so you can safely maneuver with the luggage while loading it onto the baggage trailer. You can now exit the tug. I was actually looking at doing this with this job. I'll open. Tilt key. On crew. Luggage, please. Luggage front. I'll well, fix that because that, that was saying luggage back, back at one point. Chuck it too hard. That side come down. Trying to keep all of these bags over to this side. They've all got physics too. We're stacking them and this thing's gonna be a pain in the butt. This, this is our proper ones you see. Chuck in your bags. You will see them do it. Get an idea of oh, that should do it. Turn that on. Pop out. Crew. That luggage, please. That luggage, please. A bit away for these ones, but. Really good throw. Just gonna make sure that like, the last time I drove off and left one behind. This is a real pain in the butt. They're all falling out, everyone. Trailers are fully closed and secured, and then enter the tug. Can I not manipulate? Mm. I don't like how I can't manipulate the angle of them. All I can do is like pull them straight like that. But we were. Pull that off. 
off and back it up. Close that front one. Two. Now, all that remains is to deliver the luggage to the terminal's baggage drop for it to be sorted, scanned by customers, and delivered to passengers. That's what got me last time. Drive the tug to the indicated baggage hall and park by the entrance. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not even bloody throw that. I just put that down. Pretty sure you should have nets on the top, or something, though. Bloody throwing baggage everywhere. Look. I'm sure they're supposed to have nets on. Because even having these stacked up like this, there's no, other, there's no other way I can get them in. Even if they were tidy, they'd be coming up over the thing. Yeah. Well, oh, she's chucking bloody bags up again. Right, you wee shit. Come here. Yeah, they are, to be honest, they're actually too slippy. They shouldn't be that slippy sliding, and these should have a form of netting that goes over the top, I think. There's no fucking flown off. Every three seconds. Look. If I could manipulate them, I could sit them in such a friggin' way where they would, um, fine. All I could do is set it straight, which is annoying, to be honest. Enter the baggage room and turn on both conveyor belts by pressing the highlighted buttons. Go in, bags. Finally, unload and place all collected luggage onto the conveyor belts and wave them off as they return to the passengers. This got me for ages because I'd lost a bag. And didn't uh, see it. Them green tags actually look like the ones from over here. Uh, they don't like the ones that you put on for like Belfast and Zyphon or something like that. So you, gotta, you gotta throw them. Cause that's just. what you do, innit? You know, to be a proper bug in the handler. <laughs> I won't say I'm only joking, but I have bloody seen them throwing them because I always watch out the windows. Because I'm a nerd, anyways, and I like looking at the aircraft. I uh, tend to look outside, especially considering um, I usually get to the gate where my plane's coming from before it's announced because if I'm flying, I'm usually flying to uh, Liverpool or somewhere like that. So I know. Flights, usually an easy jet. I track it on my radar, I have my phone. So I can usually figure out which ones went back to Liverpool. There's a few niggly little things there which I'm hoping they're going to fix for the real game. Thank you for playing this brief scenario in the airport sim demo. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration and look forward to welcoming you back to explore more of what Airport Sim has to offer. Till next time. See you later. So, you know, I actually enjoyed that. That, that is a cool game. Um, I think that is going to be really fun. Emptying all the planes out and doing all the bits of bats. That will be right up my street. Uh, you know, different airports and different weathers. I think that'd be really cool. So, yeah, keep an eye out for the channel, guys. I think when I can afford it, I'm gonna get that.
Because um, I'm an aeroplane nerd anyway, isn't it? So I like all that sort of stuff. See, they've got covers on them. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll definitely, I'll definitely be into that. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Let us know what you think about it down below. Will you get it? Or are you interested in that sort of thing? Um, is it up your street? So yeah, let us know down below, peeps. And uh, hopefully you'll maybe see that on the channel. I don't think it'll be a let's play. I'll maybe just do the odd video on it. I forget an interest in airport or aircraft or anything. It'll be interesting to see if there's different airplanes and stuff like that. Um, well, some of these airports look huge. It looks like you do different things from these videos. Like food, lorries, fuel, things like that. So I reckon it'll be really interesting. Anyways, thank you for watching, peeps. If you like what you're seeing, please give us a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe. Please hit the bell. Ding -ling -ling. Every interaction helps. If you want to help support the channel, guys, there's a link down below for Gavin Gaming TV merchandise. All the usual sort of jazz on there as you see on the screen. If you do not wish to purchase anything physical, though, but still uh, help the channel, there's also a link for PayPal. Everything goes back into the channel uh, so I can get more stuff to review, more hardware, software, etc. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.